Minnesota sky That's where you'll see it by and by They say it's coming any day And we're all gone the other way Gonna live as long as I'm alive Good morning everybody Start of a new day So we've got some uh, projects We're going to be finishing up today <clears throat> Look at that kid's coop that looks amazing. Yeah. I've just got one more raised bed to fill there. It's gonna take about six ranger loads of dirt to get in there, so I figured I'd uh, carve myself uh, a little road through the berm <clears throat> so I could get a little closer. Getting all those perennials planted up. Berm's starting to look really nice. I've got some uh, repair work I gotta do behind these trees that were planted yesterday. I'll show you what what I got going on back here in the the secret garden. These railroad ties are lined up going all the way down the garden and then we've got rocks up against them. So when they planted the trees, we had to move those. So I'm gonna just re-dig out, place those ties and ground breaker or weed barrier in there. And I'm also gonna make a path through here so that the ranger and the go-kart can fit through here so I'll end up building this up with clay and I'll place the railroad tie far enough over here to where there's a nice path to, to get through there onto the other side of the of the uh, the berms there okay I found this really cool bug Isn't that cool looking he doesn't like the camera he's camera shy Well, Casey's getting the rest of the perennials laid out for uh, for me to plant. You can see all the ones that got put in so far. We'll give more of a detailed, you know, what's what and a tour of it once we're done. a few other containers to decorate the deck with and this one is um, the lug container that Jason made me. We had some violas in it and they still looked beautiful so I stopped watering them so they would die and then I wouldn't feel as bad about pulling them. I'm sticking some succulent cuttings in here rather than planting because it's such a shallow container. All I'm doing is using a scissors and creating a hole. I kept the roots there from the viola so it's a nice firm soil and then that way it's not draining out all over the, the table. Um, so it's nice and firm so when I stick the cuttings in here they'll, they'll take real nice. Yeah, I remember we were contemplating on doing the violas or the succulents. So I'm excited to see the, the yeah. succulents in there. That'll well, so be... so far it already looks really cool. Yeah. Just, you know, got done cleaning it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And then I see you planted up this slender, slender little fellow here. Yep, and that's just a really beautiful tropical touch for the, for the patio. So we've got the King Tut umbrella grass. And over here we have the Lemon Coral by Proven Winners. It's Proven Accents. And then just a little touch of a flowering kale. So this will be like kind of more of like the light pink with like a white circle. And then over here we have the Super Tunia Honey by Proven Winners. Well, this has been long awaited. We're getting our berms in the front finished up. And while the excavator's here, he's gonna cut in our waterway where we've had the flooding from the road till about this point behind me. That way, when we get a heavy rain, the water will follow that groove that the dozer's gonna cut in. And that should eliminate and reduce some of the, uh, the flooding and water overspill that we get in the front of the property 
Plus it's gonna be the start of our own little creek that runs through there, so we're super excited for that. to take on and finish the uh, the kids garden area over here in this section so we did the deck deck got done last weekend the steps up into the uh, the kids coop the deck it looks really nice but now we need to get this area all taken care of over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down weed barrier in there and we're gonna extend the, the pea gravel in there and we've got a, a change in the grade. You can see we're gonna have a little path that comes through right there in between these two bushes and it's gonna come down this way. Well, we've got a little bit of a step there. So I'm gonna use some of these uh, stones and I've got some exterior stone we used on our house, some timbers. I'm gonna make uh, a landscape step there and kind of finish that off so it looks nice. I'm gonna start by uh, digging this out a little bit more so it's squared off and then uh, I'll, I'll show you the progress here. Oh yeah, I gave myself a nice little buzz too. Gotta shed some of this hair for the summer heat. Got a lot of work ahead of us. Okay, so I've got my weed barrier down. I had a, uh, a piece of timber in the garage that I wedged in between the opening. So I've got ground level up there, the timber here, and then what I did is I filled in the void back there with pea gravel. Now I'm gonna take some of my uh, exterior stone and I'm gonna lay them flat on the step to give it like a stone look. I'll, I'll use some construction adhesive to attach it and then I'll do the same thing on that top level there and go back with it. All right, so here's what I got so far. This is way more than I was really expecting to do. I feel like I've opened up a can of worms, but uh, now that I'm into it, I gotta finish it. So I'm gonna put another stack up there. That way I can have everything up there be even with the stone and some more pavers like that to make the path. And um, I've got those construction adhesive onto the timber below. I'll do some more filling in with stone and it should look pretty good. All right, well, here's what I got done for tonight. I'll finish up tomorrow, but I've got the uh, retaining wall over here, the, uh, the step built, the riser step up there. So we're gonna finish the path through there and then I'll put some, uh, some more stacked stone on the face of the timber there, retaining wall around this way and we'll be done. It's really, I'm excited about how it's gonna look when it's done. Let's see what Casey's doing over here. Casey's digging. What you digging, hon? Well, I'm going to plant um, a clematis over here. And I already planted one over there, but this is a pretty wide area and it gets quite a bit of shade, so it's a perfect spot for clematis to grow up. And um, they really won't reach their full potential until about year three. So it's always first yeah, year. Yeah, they need a lot of parenting in those year, first years. First year sleep, second <laughs> year creep, third year leap. <laughs> and that's what we like, we like that leap. Right. So these clematis are from Walter's Gardens. This one's called Rain Dance. And it gets these gorgeous blue flowers oh. on there. Isn't that absolutely yeah. gorgeous? Nice. Yeah, so I'm really excited to to try these. I love whenever I see these little stakes in there too because they say save save a number for Casey Lynn Lawrence. So yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> it's just so sweet of them it to is. be a part of the project. Hey, absolutely. Once again, thank you. Walter yes, Jones. thank you so much. Awesome. We're, we're able to use their stuff all over the place, not just the, the berms. I know, so. it's just been amazing. It's been amazing. When I uh, notice something else different. Oh, here's another, uh, just gotta show that, that sitting area. It's looking so cool over there. I love it. 
And then over here, I see that Casey brought the planting bench over here. Yeah, it looks not, really good there. Yeah, it's not like staged or anything. I just had all those extra yeah. things up there. But I'll play around with this and get it set up for actually using it. Right. We can use it. It's, yeah. You can hook the hose up and you can rinse veggies and whatnot in here. So once we start yeah. picking strawberries. That'll be nice. And things like that, we can come right up there and rinse them and then chow down. Yeah, and this was from um, Best Choice Products and I've, I've really loved it. If you haven't seen the video that where we showcase all the cool features, just check it out. Yeah. I love it. It's just been perfect for getting everything potted up. All right, we're gonna give you a little update on the uh, the retaining wall and the stone steps and the kids area, trying to get this finished off tonight. All right, so this is what we got going on. I'm getting the last of the ground barrier down. As soon as that's down, I can fill all that in with pea gravel. I've got the, uh, the steps built, stone retaining walls in. Kind of made it like a little landing here at the bottom. That'll get covered in pea gravel. Those will be out of here. They're just holding the face of the stone in right now. I'll and, find them out. Yep, Sayla's testing them out to make sure it can hold 20 pounds. <laughs> Here's a look from up top looking down in. So what we're gonna do is we've got that retaining wall there and then we'll end up just kind of filling in through here. Probably make some type of a, of a little path off of here going around there to go back behind their kids coop if they want to but it's uh it is looking good i can't wait to get this stone in here and call this project um a finished project <laughs> okay all the pea gravel's laid i'm about ready to lay down Got it all the way into here. It's kind of hard to see with the with the shadow. And we'll be featuring this much more. You can be sure of that. <laughs> but uh, that's going to do it for tonight. Brand new steps are there. Retaining walls filled with pea gravel. We are getting there, folks. We are getting there. Morning, everybody. And Casey is planting up her pumpkins. This is a new garden area that we had worked up at the end of last year and Casey's dad came over and tilled it a couple of times for us. It's best to get the seeds in the ground right after it's tilled and the ground soft. If it rains, the ground gets hard, it's tough to do it and you kind of need to till it again. So this year she's trying something a little bit different. So well, what she did originally is she takes the ranger and drives up and down the field and that indicates where the pumpkins are so it keeps things in straight rows and it's better for tilling and, and what have you but you can see here this dark spot in the dirt when she dug the hole to put the seed in she took the garden compost mix that we had and put that into the hole with the uh, with the seed so that's something new that she's going to try this year and we'll see how uh, how that works but you can see as we go down the uh, the line here we're each group of pumpkin seeds are planted. I'm also mounding them up just a little bit so that way if we get a lot of rain, some of the rain kind of just washes away and they're not just sitting in like this hole in this little wet puddle. Um, I feel like in the front where our garden was, it was always so wet and um, I'm really trying to avoid that this year. So once we do put sprinklers on, it just, you know, it gets watered, but then it drains and dries out the way it should. In this row here, this is where we're planting some of our larger pumpkins. These ones get about 15 to 20 pounds. This variety is called Zeus. And we're gonna do a couple rows of this. We're not gonna do anything else crazy in here. We're just sticking to pumpkins. It's a trial season with the new location and we'll go from there. So we're just keep your fingers crossed. For <laughs> With a name like Zeus, I thought you were gonna say 15 to 20 feet tall. <laughs> I can dream, can I? <laughs> James and the giant pumpkin. Jason and the giant. So as Casey's digging 
new holes here in the never touched garden area. We're, we're still coming across, and we had grass planted here, but we're yeah. still coming across a lot a, of clay. A clay soil, so it's it's hard to see. So still running into a lot of clay soil as, as Casey's digging the holes. You can see I pulled a, a, a piece out here and basically I can take and model it in my uh, in, in my hand here. So that's one of the issues that, that we've had with a lot of things. Tree yeah. growing, just yeah. you know, having the clay soil isn't the best for drainage. You know, which I never really realized that this was a really clay area because we always had a field here growing up and we grew lots of stuff here, but you know, you, you don't really realize it until you start putting in your own gardens and finding what you find. But I think every year at the end, when we're all done with pumpkins, if we seed in like a, some type of a, a winter crop, a cover crop that, um, and then in the summer, move it into the soil. I think if we do that every year, it's gonna amend the soil really nice. Right, and this this will be a nice trial to see how the pumpkins, cause they may grow fine out here. Yeah. They may like it a little drier with less drainage, so. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna do this row with compost, and then the next row, I'm not going to. Good, yeah. And that way we can kinda trial. See. And, yep. Cause sometimes I do do too much and then it never turns out anyway. Right. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do all that work. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Yeah. Uh, we've got some more perennials to plant here and we've got our friend Joey coming over to uh, to help and, and get those planted. And you can see once we get those planted in, it's just gonna be nice and full with perennials. We can then get it mulched and we will have one berm done. This pile of pea gravel right here is, well, it's about halfway gone now. The rest of it is gonna get used for the the remainder of our path so that we can go down. Let's let's really use the new path and, uh, and little stair set here. So we walk down into, into this space. So this is all filled now with pea gravel. Still need to put a couple of stones here and then we're gonna fill in that area with the garden compost mix and Casey's gonna seed wildflowers and I'm sure she's gonna do more than that. We know Casey, she'll be putting, uh, well here, this is, this is, this is I think what she's got planned to, uh, to go in there. So it's gonna be a really nice looking garden right on the front of the, uh, the kids deck. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Back here, She's got the, the container planted up back here. This tree doesn't look like it's gonna make it, so we're probably gonna have to, to replace that. And of course, that's the one that we already finished off with the stone, And um, but the rest of the pea gravel that's up there is gonna get filled in here, and that's gonna happen this weekend as well. So this area will be done. As we look over here, towards the trees. So we've decided that this area is gonna be a little kind of play extension for the kids area here. Once this is finished, once this little thing, this area is finished, and once the back is finished, our, our new garden additions will be done. And then we, we primarily have the, uh, the berms that we uh, need to do. And then just a lot of other little random things. But, you know, I feel like this year, we uh, are working harder than we did last year. And I know last year with doing the greenhouse and getting ready for the magazine shoot, it was a lot of hard work, but I actually feel like we're, we're doing more additions to the garden this year. Um, wasn't our plan, but that's just what happens with us. We, uh, you know, we start to, to dream and brainstorm and, and sometimes we like to bite off more than we can chew, but we make sure that we chew it all and we get it done. And we're gonna have some really amazing gardens to enjoy and, and feature here pretty soon. So uh, keep with us and stay tuned with the progress. Casey's rolling out the green carpet. It's actually a uh, like a lawn rug. So we can have a nice patch of grass here in our uh, new garden area. We're gonna put our table on it. All right, it's time for an update. So yesterday towards the end of the day, we got all of the 
perennials planted here in the uh, the garden in front of the kids deck really really sets it off here just love the way that uh, that is looking and then this back area is ready for pea gravel we ran out of ground barrier yesterday so I had to go get some and then we decided that we were gonna put a uh, stone wall between the trees and where the pea gravel is going to go here because we're going to be putting mulch in between the trees and that's a good way to uh, to separate it uh, even all the way back around here we'll, we'll get this all filled in and all right checking out the berms they are really filling in nicely and Casey is planting willow tree whips between each arborvitae so these are going to bush up in a hurry we're thinking and give us that extra coverage between the arborvitae so She's got three in between each arborvita. I know it's kind of difficult to see them because they're, they're little, but they will grow fast. So it's like that all the way down and we are just stuffing, you know, just like Casey does with her, her containers, she's stuffing this berm <laughs> as well. And the good thing about that is the more plant coverage you have, the less issue you're going to have with weeds. And once we're finally done stuffing this berm with plants, we'll go ahead and mulch in the, uh, the gaps in between. There probably won't be many. <laughs> 